The next Pokemon that's going to be joining Ash's team is going to be Snorlax. See, I told you this wouldn't be a team of just ace Pokemon. Now, if you don't remember, Snorlax is actually one of Ash's better Pokemon. He summoned upon it in the Battle Frontier arc of the anime to battle against the Greta and her fighting type Pokemon. Even with a type disadvantage, it did exceptionally well against her Medicham and her Hariyama. And in that battle, Snorlax even used six moves, and two notable moves are Protect and Ice Punch, which would definitely come in handy, even in a competitive sense, going up against Leon and his Dragon types, and the rest of his team as well. Snorlax, of course, is an incredibly bulky Pokemon with access to the move Rest. Now, it is not known if Ash's Snorlax currently knows Rest at this point in time, but it did return in Pokemon Journeys, and if it knows Rest, it'll be even more of a threat because it can get all that bulk and HP back and have a tougher time for Leon to take it down. Snorlax is incredibly resilient and durable and would definitely help in the battle against Leon, and on top of it, it would be immune to any ghost-type attacks coming from Leon's Aegislash. But on top of it, Snorlax has the incredibly versatile normal typing. Normal Pokemon are able to learn a wide variety of moves, generally speaking, anytime there is a normal-type Pokemon. Back when I created my normal type gym, I completely turned the normal typing on its head and gave my team vastly different movesets than what a conventional normal type team would have. I went for electric type moves, normal type moves, flying, fighting, fire type moves, even I think grass type moves on my normal type Pokemon to give them the most coverage that I possibly could in that gym, making it the furthest thing from a normal type gym. So if Ash could do the same for the PWC, then Snorlax could have the craziest moveset of any of his Pokemon. So with Snorlax's typing and its strength and bulk, and on top of it, the ability to have an incredibly vast moveset, I think Snorlax would definitely be one of his aces in the hole to battle against Leon. The penultimate Pokemon that I would add to Ash's best team to take down Leon is going to be from Alola, his champion team, that being Naganadel. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did ya? But yes, of course, Naganadel is one of Ash's best Pokemon, not only for being on his champion team, but also competitively speaking, and for going up against Leon. It carries the Poison Dragon typing, which is an incredibly good typing. Dragon gives it resistances to all of the Galar region starters, and its Dragon typing also helps it deal super effective stab damage against Leon's dragons as well. Ash's Naganadel knows Thunderbolt, X Scissor, Dragon Pulse, and Sludge Bomb, and all of these moves would help against Leon's team. Dragon Pulse would help take down Haxorus and Dragapult, Thunderbolt would help out against Charizard, and while Sludge Bomb and X Scissor don't help out that much, they're still pretty strong moves for Naganadel to use. It's an Ultra Beast, so it's technically a legendary Pokemon, and it's got the stats to boot as well. So with these stats and moves, and with the power Naganadel displayed in the Alola League, it would definitely be a strong asset for Ash to use against Leon in the PWC. This is a Pokemon that me and Hybrid Hero have in common as he also used this same Pokemon on Ash's best team competitively. And I can absolutely see why he chose this Pokemon. It is amazingly good. So the fifth member of Ash's best team is Naganadel. Now rounding out the team, what would Ash's final Pokemon be if he's battling Leon, the champion monarch of the Pokemon world? That last Pokemon is going to be... Charizard. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's Greninja. Sorry Charizard fans, but Greninja of course got its own form in Ash Greninja and even got Ash to the finals of the Kalos League. It's incredibly powerful and knows Cut, Water Shuriken, Aerial Ace, and Double Team. So with spamming Double Team and that massively boosted power for Water Shuriken, there is no doubt that Greninja would definitely help in battling Leon. It can easily be argued that Greninja is Ash's strongest Pokemon among all the Pokemon that he's caught. They have their own bond, they have their own strength. Ash and Greninja become one when they use the Ash-Greninja bond phenomenon. So if Ash is able to call upon all of his old Pokemon, no matter where they are in the world, and he's able to have access to them, there's no doubt that he's going to call upon his Greninja, the one who has the probably the strongest bond with him besides Pikachu. And who's to say that he doesn't switch out Cut for Night Slash before the PWC, giving him a Stab Dark type move? That would absolutely help against Leon's Dragapult and Ag Slash, as they are both weak to Dark type moves. And if that's coming from the Ash Greninja, not even the regular form of Greninja, then that Night Slash is going to be even that much stronger, and this is the same moveset that you can get in the Sun and Moon games for the Ash Greninja that is gifted to you in that game. 
Greninja was basically the poster child for the XYZ anime series of Pokemon, and it's by far one of Ash's strongest Pokemon. This team would not be complete without adding Greninja to the roster. So this is version 1 of Ash's best team to go up against Leon in the PWC. This is his team that I would think he would use if he had access to all of his old Pokemon wherever they are in the world, released or not. And that is Pikachu, Greninja, Crocodile, Snorlax, Naganadel, and Infernape. 